with you live from a Two Rivers Tattoo Studio. It's a touchline run. That was really good. Right, evening. We're back with a touchline run. Number 82. Um, the Ben Jam special. We're joined by Paddy. Say hello, Paddy. Hello. We're going to talk Ben Jam, why it's important, why you should get down there. We're going to talk uh, a bit Man City. We've got an absolutely killer readers, why? That's like rant. Let's go. Well, thank you very much, Two Rivers Tattoo, for graciously letting us record tonight. Thank you, Paddy, for coming on. Ben Jam. Ben Jam. Ben Ben Ben, ben Jam. Explain the background a little bit. It's Ben's, Ben McDonald who passed away just after the half marathon in October. In kind of honour of, of his memory, um, the family wanted to do something uh, to kind of inspire people and, and raise money for a charity. So Ben's sister and brother, uh, Vicky and Steve, they've organised uh, an event, which is music, charity, beers, Food, people getting together, having fun. Mm -hmm. So the charity is Welsh Hearts. Yeah. So yeah. they specialise in uh, CPR training, uh, defibrillators being put around, and also um, heart screening. Uh, so you can get tickets through uh, Eventbrite. Yeah. Or you can get them through the Ben Jam page um, on Facebook. With Welsh Hearts, you know, it's it's um, having defibr more defibrillators around more accessible yeah. because you stand a much better chance. If you can get yeah. CPR or defibrillator yeah. on a person who's had a, a cardiac arrest within three minutes, I think it was, their chances of survival goes from something like 5% to 70 something percent. Yeah. So it's a massive thing. So it's not just the defibrillators, it's the free CPR training that mm. they do as well. Yeah. Benjamin. Benjamin. Second. Anyone's welcome. Of me. The anything that goes through the tickets now, and I think even 100 before this, uh, just goes directly to Welsh Hearts every single penny. Amazing. Um, Surely nothing can stop them. There's no one that's had a better season than Raheem Sterling. I think offensively the only person who comes close to Sterling this season uh, is Mo Salah. Or maybe Again. Mane. Yeah, Mane as well has had a phenomenal season. And just below it, and it's gone unnoticed because of the drama around them, but Hazard's had a very good yeah. season. He's always with He's They've had such good seasons, all of those players. But yeah, I would say Sterling. The only player... Anywhere else that I would suggest has a better season Premier League wise is Virgil van Dijk. Yeah, that's all I think. Pretty good. Moving on. So it feels like it's coming to. The, it feels like I'm watching Xavi and Iniesta at Barca, and you're like, they're still phenomenal, but this isn't going to last much long. Surely nothing can stop them. <laughs> he lifted everything, so it's like, oh well, you have to give him a job. You have to. Yeah, you could, you could not, could you? Because if they brought anyone else, yeah. fans would just be saying, well, you should have given it to Solskjaer. So they, they didn't have a choice, to be honest. Yeah, I'm oh, surprised they did it so quick, though. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't wait to the end of the season. I, I thought think they were going to wait. I think it was to do with player contracts. And stuff. You know, Ken Solre, mm -hmm. he's Danish. Cardiff City are going to stay up. Cardiff City. They're going to stay up. They're going to stay up. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Okay. I, think, well, I think, genuinely think they will now. It's going to be such a long shot, but yeah. they, they've dug deep. I'm way more positive about Cardiff than I was. Yeah. <clears throat> last week. Cardiff now have got the edge going forward and they have the Brighton yeah. players, their heads must just be saying that so so Glen Murray is always evergreen so evergreen Glen Murray yeah Pink. shout out to the Blades shout out to the Blades Blades down at Vive Juice Bar Riverside, Riverside Cardiff get down there if you go down there ask to order our smoothie a rant smoothie he'll make you a rant smoothie Shout out. Neil Warnock. Neil Warnock, maybe shout out Neil Warnock. Yeah. I've just, I've just what a rags to riches story I've that just man this season. Do you know why? From Brexit to this. I <laughs> love his mentality. I've loved being here. I've never had a reception like this before. I've seen him saying all the right things, you know, that's great. The fans absolutely love him. Suits the club for where they're at for the time being. Yeah. Like scrappers, you know, scoundrels. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. And so I think it suits that. But his mentality is, well, look, I've loved being here. I'm going to give it everything. Um, if 
they do decide to move on, like, like move move on and choose someone else, I'd like to help choose that manager to, to take hold, you yeah. know, and like after yeah, going he's through done well. everything. He's done well. Imagine that, you're you're managing the club and you you are thrown all those those life affirming things yeah, that happen. So there was a state there was a part where, where he was actually gonna be like, No, I I am yeah. gonna walk away from football yeah. completely because of that reason. But it's better as we've seen to react positively. <laughs> That was really good. I love PSG and I love Thomas Tuchel, but Thomas Tuchel this week, when he came out on a massive rant and he was just like, nobody is listening to me. I have 14 first players out. <laughs> he was like, no one is listening to me. And he was like, none of you were reporting it. None of you were saying it. They're just the great PSG have lost. He was like, I'm missing 14 first team players, including Navy. The championship, I always sort of kept it, mm. I watched it, but I didn't watch it as intently as I do other leagues. Yeah. This year, championship's been brilliant. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good stand. It's been so good. So many good teams, you know, it's crazy. Are we going to do this section? Is this really wild? Oh, yeah, sure. Right, do you know what time of week it is? It's <sighs> probably time for Reader's Wives, isn't it? To get reacquainted with Reader's what Wives. What is Reader's Wives? Reader's Wives is the question section. So I pose you a question, and people, in this case our Twitter followers, give us answers. Yeah, yeah? it was good this week. It was a really good one. Like, the amount of, of responses we've had is phenomenal. We've had over 100 responses. It's just chip in. If you see us doing something else, it's just chip in, isn't it? So, our question this week was, Tiger Woods completed one of the great sports comebacks with his win at Augusta on Sunday. Which footballers do you think have made great personal comebacks in their time in the game? think career resurrections. First one that came back was uh, Jonas Gutierrez. Now this came in originally from Paul Glover at Gary underscore Glover. So Jonas for Newcastle overcame personal health issues to end up scoring the goal, kept the club in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. One that caught my eye as well, which I think is too soon to say, but Tadic. I'd argue at the minute he's had a phenomenal resurgent at Ajax. I think it's a bit too early to say it's well, career resurrection. I think you've had the performance of your life against Real Madrid to make a statement in the first leg. Henrik Larsson, this is from uh, ASD, the brand. Henrik Larsson, leg absolute destroyed when he was approaching his peak yeah, uh, sure. to come back after an age of recovery to win the golden boot and also play for Barcelona and Man United. Another one, Jib will see save for some reason. Uh, this is from Nathan. We, you think two, right? The two leg breaks he endured to come back and keep going at a relatively high level for a few years afterwards is an yeah. incredible two Yeah. Child up. Thank you, Darren. The Gormisaurus. He's our official mascot. We just adopted him as a mascot. <laughs> Bert Troutman, who broke his neck playing the FA Cup final for Man City. Just played on. Just played on. Not only said, oh my God, I've broken my neck, right, I've got to come back, you know, I've got to recover and come back. He just went, no, I'm staying on. Abidal. Yeah, Eric Abidal was a really good one. That's from Jordan Lloyd. Uh, You're a friend of mine. One. Eric Abidal beat cancer and two liver transplants to win the Champions League and regain his place in the national side. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it Jordan Lloyd again? No, well, right. Jordan Lloyd as well, but uh, Nick, uh, Brazilian Ronaldo, two serious injuries at Inter in 1999-2000. Uh, then he adapted his game and won the 2002 World Cup as top goal scorer. Uh, Captain Gareth, Ian oh. Rush of Wrexham. <laughs> <laughs> we'll round it up then on the Gormisaurus again. He said, the Manchester United Munich survivors, Liverpool and Forest players after Hillsborough. Bradford players past, uh, post fire, the Juve players post the 39 fans dying, all players returning to depleted teams post World War One and World War Two. <laughs> but it's too real. That is the heaviest answer. Yeah. One of our favourite times of the show. We always get it, we always like it, because it helps us it. grow and flourish. It's the feedback section. Okay. Do you want to know who has been in touch this, this week? There's some really good responses this week. I think people have enjoyed it. Uh, Sergio Busquets has been in. He says, fantastic Reader's Wives this week. Excellent content, guys. Keep it up. Uh, Jason Dodd had an equally uh, Im huge impact on the game, has been in touch. He said, you didn't mention my charity from Chris Bart Williams simply said, the Bart man likes it. So thank you, Chris Bart Williams, for that. What better way to end? Shout out. Shout out, what are we? So really quickly, just want to just drive this point home again. Yeah. I'm not happy recently because gambling sites have been up on my blowing up my spot on you social media. 
kicking right off on social media at gambling companies. It's very good. I like it. I like seeing yeah, you complain about sponsored that. Because it's complacent. It's, 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 they're just not taking responsibility. For, just saying gamble responsibly is not good enough. It's not good enough when you consider the, 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 the destruction that it can cause. So when I'm pushed advertising through gambling sites, mm. yeah, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be happy because the, the impact that's got on people who just can throw a little flutter on anything now at the drop of a hat is not responsible. Guess what? Another ex-footballer has come out and say he's got a gambling habit. Guess what? It's all related. It's, yeah. the, it's the worst part of sport. And my argument with gambling habits is the same with alcohol habits in that I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's, it's not people disagree with me. People, uh, I don't know why smoking habits are illegal. Yeah. But... Alcohol and gambling habits are because I don't see a distinction. No, I agree. I think they're all they're all destructive habits in their own ways to certain people. Yeah. And if you're going to be destroyed by one of them, you might end up being destroyed by all of them. Talk sport. It's not on. It's not acceptable when you drop in like little sections yeah. saying saying about the latest odds for the week. It's not acceptable to normalise it on those those yeah. times and that on that level. It's irresponsible on other podcasts. Yeah. It's not responsible. That's your audience. Like why you you don't understand the actual like the the impact that that's that's got. I get it, you know. Like you have to it, it, you pay so much, but it's just a detrimental whole business yeah. that that's got. And so push promoting it on social media is ridiculous. So it's something's got to change. Event is Benja 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 and May second at the depot in Cardiff. Come down. We'll Six all be to there. eleven. Six to Didn't eleven. Didn't mention that before. No, 6 to 11, <laughs> so we'll all be there, come yeah. down, it will be a great evening. Everyone's welcome. Say hi. Right, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me, I've loved it. Thank you very much. Benja, 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 Benja. That was really good.